I have resisted making a video about using batteries and steel wool to light fires for a very long time. Opinions vary, and you don't have to agree with me, but I think that lighting fires with steel wool and a 9 volt battery is the worst way on earth to make a fire. I wish they wouldn't teach that to scouts. Two reasons. First of all, there's no skill involved. Sticking a 9 volt battery up to a, a piece of steel wool absolutely teaches a scout no new skills. It's You haven't learned anything at the end of the day. But moreover, the thing I dislike about it is a young scout getting the idea that he can take some steel wool with him and a battery and maybe stick it in his backpack. Uh, if I've got if I've got a lighter, it won't go off unless I do some positive action to make that lighter light. If I've got matches, I have to do some positive action to make that match light. But if steel wool and a battery come into contact with one another in a kid's backpack, it sets his backpack on fire. It's a passive ignition, and I think that's a little bit dangerous. I don't like to teach this, and I've resisted it for a long, long time, until I saw a video the other day that was some science involved with uh, burning of steel wool. It actually oxidizes more than it burns, and it converts from iron, Fe, to iron oxide, Fe2O3, and it gains mass as it's burning. And I thought that was cool, and I thought I would demonstrate that. So only for that reason am I making this video. I still think this is the worst way to, to make a fire. It, you don't have any skill development, and it may be dangerous unless a kid knows to keep the battery and the steel wool far apart. All right, I will demonstrate lighting a fire <laughs> using a battery and steel wool. So let me get set up and I'll show you that. And at the end, we'll do a little bit of the science. Back in a minute. world's absolute worst way to light a fire. Nine volt battery and steel wool. Got a few things here. This is single alt steel wool, the real coarse stuff. And this is a brand new, right out of the package, Energizer, excuse me, ever ready battery. Nothing. Nothing. Ever ready is not sufficient. It doesn't work. At least it doesn't work with single alt steel wool. This is four alt steel wool. The real super fine stuff. Brand new Ever Ready ba battery. Nothing. Doesn't always work. Set this guy out of the way. This is a used Duracell battery. I wrote 8.9 volts on it. I took this out of one of my smoke detectors when I changed the batteries this year. This is a used Duracell. Single alt steel wool, the real coarse stuff. Nothing. Oops. Coarse stuff doesn't work. Pretty sure this one's going to work. Use Duracell, four alt steel wool, and I've got a little uh, tinder bundle I made out of jute twine. I don't think I'm going to need all that. I'm pretty sure this is going to go. My neighbor's mowing his yard. Used Duracell nine volt battery. See that? It's caught fire. It's already caught fire. How about that? So, not all 9 volt batteries are made equally. I believe that the Duracell is capable, capable of delivering a much higher current than these Ever Readies. I haven't tried every brand of uh, 9 volt battery. These are the two that I had in the house. Uh, Duracell is the champ today, and this fire making method does not work with the coarse steel wool. It only works with the really super fine stuff. Like I said, 
I still think this is the worst way on earth to light a fire. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you some science in a minute. Okay, let's turn on our uh, scale here. And I've got a little pan I made out of aluminum foil to hold my steel wool biscuit. And let's zero that out. And add in my steel wool. It looks like it's settled in at 6.4 grams. Now when when steel wool burns, it attracts oxygen out of the atmosphere. The oxygen in the atmosphere in isolation doesn't register any mass on the scale because it's pushing on the scale in all directions, up, upwards, down from the sides, all which directions, and it kind of zeroes itself out. It's only when I put a mass in the pan that I register something on my scale. And when I ignite it, with my nine volt battery in just a second. When it combusts, it attracts oxygen out of the atmosphere. Now, this is steel wool, it's not pure iron, but if pure iron is burning in the presence of oxygen, it has the ability to gain up to 30% mass. And that's under ideal situations. If, the, if, if this was pure iron, which is not, and if it combusted completely, which it probably won't, and if this was a really super nice scale, which it's not, because I got this for $10, at Harbor Freight. But we should see some increase in mass, which I thought was really interesting. Let's give it a try. Let's set it on fire and see if we can see some mass increase. I can see some places where it's not quite fully burning yet. It's gone up by a few tenths of a gram. Let's just let it sit there and burn for a minute. Let it attract more oxygen. So it's pulling oxygen right out of the air. And it's binding chemically to the iron in the steel wool. And it's becoming part of the solid mass that's sitting in that pan. And that's why we are seeing the mass go up. That, I thought, was pretty cool and worth making a video over. I still think 9-volt battery and steel wool is the absolute worst way to, to make a fire. It teaches no skills. And unless you store the constituent components separately, it could be dangerous. Well, looks like it's gone up by about a gram. Well, that's pretty cool. Have a nice day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.